this unicorn thing <laughs> is like it's starting to be an excuse to be lazy because my hair not did underneath this my hair is not done <laughs> squad welcome back to my youtube channel if it is your first time on my youtube channel hi my name is wabosha don't forget to hit that subscribe button so today i have like a product comparison thingy of like an expensive product and a cheaper product and we're just going to test these two products and see how they work side by side with each other so this are the two products right here and the first one is this eyebrow pencil and it is uh, from House of Tara, the box isn't written anything, but it has it has like a cute packaging. Excuse the fact that it is old and it is making so much noise inside the box. But this is how the House of Tara pencil is packaged, and that's how the pencil looks like. Okay, it doesn't come like this. This is of course used. It comes a bit longer, like that much long i know your usual standard pencil size and this retails for about 400 shillings actually <laughs> funny story the first time i bought this i bought it from okay i don't see where i bought it from but i bought it for 800 shillings and then i came to found out that found out <laughs> to find out that it's actually sold for 400 shillings so i actually paid double like literally double the price for this the first time i bought it and okay honestly there's nothing so special about it to pay 800 bob for an eyebrow pencil i mean come on maxine how dumb were you but then that's the pencil that's how it looks like and i have mine in the shade dark brown and the second pencil is this one and this pencil is by davis and it's in the color actually it's in the number 003 and it comes with a sharpener so the other one just has the lid right there but this one comes with a sharpener and okay it's written eyeliner and lip liner pencil with vitamin a and e extra waterproof and protective so that is how it looks like and this one is unused i do have the one i'm currently using right here it's much shorter so you guys this pencil is literally 30 shillings 30 shillings you guys 30 shillings versus 400 shillings or even versus the first 800 bob i paid so this is quite the price difference like 30 shillings 400 shillings okay i think i've stressed that part enough <laughs> okay, so if you can just quickly compare how the two look like so for packaging this one does come in a really cute box and it's well packaged so i'd say for packaging this one has definitely won and i wish i had a newer one because also the way they have like their house of tara written and everything it's usually very pretty the second thing is okay the color let's compare this this is the house of tara one and that is the shade the dark brown shade and for this other one, let me use the old one. That is how it swatches. So you can see that the color is really similar. But then I can, okay, I don't know why on camera this one looks like it's a bit redder. But in person, I promise they literally look alike. Like they are both pretty similar. So you can say that uh, the Davis pencil is a dupe for the House of Tara one. The second thing is the sharpener. So as you can see, the Davis one does come with a sharpener and this one doesn't. And, okay, that might be like a small difference for some people, but for me it's like a big difference because the Tara pencil is a bit thicker than your usual pencil because I find that the Davis one is like your standard uh, eyebrow pencil, like thickness, so it can go into like the school sharpeners easily. But this one, that it's a bit thicker, so it's much more difficult to sharpen it. And I usually have to use, like, the huge lip liner pencils to sharpen. Another thing is the consistency. The House of Tara one is definitely way, way, way more creamier than this one. Like, even how it goes on, it's so smooth and it just goes on very perfectly. This one is not that creamy as you compare it to this other one so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use them on my eyebrows and we're going to compare both of them 
Okay, so I've tried to bring you guys in a bit closer. So what we're going to do is I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with a Davis pencil on this side. That's the less expensive pencil. And on this side, I'm going to use the more expensive pencil, which is the House of Tara one. And I'm just going to fill in my brows as usual. So I'm going to just brush out my eyebrows as usual with my spoolie. Then I'm going to start on this side with the Davis pencil. going to go ahead and fill this other side in with the House of Tara pencil. Like eyebrows know when they are going to be on camera and that is the day they will refuse to cooperate. The eyebrows do not <laughs> want to be on flick today, but it's okay because that wasn't an eyebrow tutorial. I actually sped up through the whole eyebrow thing because I do have an eyebrow tutorial and if you want to watch it, I will link it up here and on the description box as well. So this is the eyebrow situation right now. I filled this in with a Davies pencil and this side with the House of Tara pencil. And I honestly really think they look very similar you can't tell that these are two different pencils on my face so this is definitely a dupe for the house of tara pencil when it comes to color however the very huge difference that is there is the consistency the house of tara one is so creamy that sometimes it's a disadvantage because it really does slide off like when you're trying to fill in i like how it glides on and the fact that it's really creamy it kind of like holds those eyebrow hairs together so they won't move all day but then sometimes it's just it's just too creamy for me this other one is not creamy at all which again is an advantage and a disadvantage and the fact that i can get this so sharp like i'm sure if you compare this pencil and this pencil i'm not sure how visible it is this is a house of tara pencil and if you compare how it is like the this one has gone really down and it's because of how creamy it is so when you use it it kind of just like you know goes down and you have to sharpen it so even when i do that i can feel the pencil the like size reducing and this other one however times eh, however many times you do it it doesn't go back in because it's not as creamy Another thing which I had already mentioned today is to do with a sharpener. The Davis one does come with its own sharpener, so it's really easy to, you know, when you're in between your eyebrows and it gets blunt, you can just go in and sharpen. This one is it's just a headache to sharpen, to be honest. And then one more thing is the color range. The House of Tara pencil comes in this dark brown pencil, and then there's a brown, and I believe there's an even lighter brown so the browns you know like it's not that hard to get the brown shade wrong and even if you get it a shade lighter it won't look that oh my god her eyebrows are like not the right brown however with the davis pencil if you get it wrong that is it's game over because have you ever gone into town and then you see this lady walking around and the eyebrows look kind of red or maroon it's this pencil and they've gotten the wrong shade so before i got the right pencil it was a lot of trial and error and like i don't know if i mentioned it but this is in the number 003 if you want to try it it's a shade i'd recommend so you really want to make sure that you get the right shade of the davis pencil if you do want to try it out for yourself you know i really do think that both pencils are great and they each work wonderfully individually but for me the davis pencil really does take the price home for me because I don't know, I just can't explain it. It's very easy to use and plus it's 30 shillings. I swear when I sharpen this thing, I usually don't feel painful. But this other one, especially when it says 800 bob, I was like, God, you know, you sharpen and <laughs> a cup piece of your heart goes with those sharpenings. But this one, even as you can see, I just, I'm always sharpening it because it's 30 shillings. <laughs> 
that's it for this week's video and i hope everyone who's been messaging me about the davis pencils have seen that it does work so basically it's just me again stressing that it never really matters at the price of what makeup brand you're using it's a technique that always matters just make sure with every makeup product you're using you're getting the right shade like getting the right shade is really key in everything don't forget to like comment share and if you're new to this channel Please subscribe down below. Until next time, bye!